Good day everyone, welcome back to a Philippine inspired city called Islay Batan. In this episode, we are going to build the Islay Batan's television network. So here we are again at the intersection of Aurora Boulevard and EDSA. This is from the last episode where we built an impression of Cabal. I think it turned out okay. Someone asked where is the LRT2? Well, that will be for the future episode. Just keep in mind that this is not going to be an exact replica of the actual place due to the game's limitations. But I'll try my best to make an impression as close to the reality as possible without losing the important details and still keeping the Philippine vibe. For example, this is an old building at the intersection of EDSA and Aurora Boulevard, which now houses Eclaro Academy and a couple of shops. Right next to it is the Hotel Sogo by Meteor Daddy. Uh, this is one of the oldest Philippine assets in the workshop. It's been there since 2016, I think. But he doesn't make assets anymore. I wish he could come back and make more asset. So to Meteor Daddy, clever name by the way. If you are watching this, let me know if you want to get commission for making new assets for me. And that goes to any Filipino artist out there. If you are interested, you can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, or through my Facebook page. I will leave those links in the description below. This little area over here is still pretty much part of Cabal. Here you'll find hotels for a really low price. But they're really not the ones for tourists. They're more for couples with a tight budget, if you know what I mean. So a lot of you have been asking me how do I export photos on billboards and signs like these. Well, these signs and billboards I use are made of procedural objects. The reason for that is making asset takes a lot of time. I'm talking about making a 3D model from 3D modeling software like Blender or Maya, then creating the texture in Photoshop. And then every time you create a new asset, you'll have to close the game down before you can import the new asset into the game. And we all know how slow this game loads, especially if you are using mods and custom assets. Nowadays, my average load time for Islay Vatan is 30 to 45 minutes. So using procedural objects, I can import textures into the game instantly, even while the game is running. So that saves a lot of time. Unfortunately though, procedural objects made in-game cannot be uploaded in the workshop. But the good news is, it's actually pretty simple and easy to do. I'm not gonna go over it now since I'm not really good at making tutorials, but you can follow the instructions on the link below. Last couple of episodes, I got a lot of suggestions to build a television network like the GMA Network Center. So now here we are. In real life, the GMA compound is located a few kilometers away from Cabal, but I just want to abbreviate the area since our space is pretty limited. Quezon City is about 160 square kilometers in size and the home of over 3 million people. It's the largest city in Metro Manila and fitting the entire city on this map would be impossible. So please don't kill me. I used Bright Iron Fence by Titan around the compound and I changed the color into blue. And then later on, I'll be attaching small billboards just like in real life. One trick I've been doing a lot lately is using these brick decals on the sidewalks and using lines to turn them into parking spaces. Then I've been using invisible sidewalks so that pedestrians won't walk into parked cars.
So when I loaded the game the next day, I noticed this really annoying glitch. This game has so many glitches. I can ignore most of them, but this one I cannot live with. It only happens in this particular intersection though. So as you can see here, no one uses the crosswalk. The pedestrians goes into the middle of the intersection. Sometimes they go underground, disappears for a few seconds, then reappears on the other side of the road. So let's follow Ashley Brown over here. She goes into the middle of the intersection and disappears. It takes a couple of seconds. They're probably reconstructing her body right now after the teleportation. And there she is. I tried deleting the road and replaced with different types of roads, but still continues to happen. There seems to be a hidden portal under this road that I cannot figure out. So I decided to avoid this area completely and change the layout of the main road, which added quite a bit of interest in this area in my opinion. I added this uh, shell gas station by Kano, laid down some tile decals for some realism, added some foliage and small gardens here and there. I didn't really go too crazy with the details, or maybe I did. I then added a couple of small businesses and a Starbucks for the Capuso employees to go to during their break and then called it a day. So if you like this build, go ahead and smash that like button. If you don't like this build, make sure to leave a comment down below and let us know what you think. It would really help me make better content for you all in the future. Subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, mabuhay and see you next time.